Have you ever wondered who would win in a race between a medal winning cyclist and a flying mechanical wasp? Yes, me too. Which is why we are here at the Olympic Velodrome in London to find out. In a first of its kind, we're going to race Team GB's cyclist, Andy Tennant, against Armageddon's weaponized assault ship, the Wasp. Nearly two meters tall, weighing just under 80 kilos, he is one of the fastest men on a track bike in the world. The weaponized assault ship, Wasp for short, would be a popular choice in the air arena, with both contestants and resident drones fearing the black and yellow beast. Weighing in at 5.8 kilos and 1.6 meters wide, this thing can seriously sting. So Andy, Hi. good to meet you. You've accepted the challenge. How do you feel about taking on the Wasp? Yeah, I've had a pretty good season this year, but so has the Wasp. Hopefully it's buzz with worse than its sting. So Wasp, hey, yeah, good to have you here. Um, how are you feeling? Any fighting talk for Andy? <laughs> yeah, feeling confident. Good stuff. All right, Andy, let's do this. For this race, both drone and cyclist will do one lap of the velodrome. The one who crosses the finish line first wins. Three, two, one, and they're off. Not a great start for the Wasp, a bit slow off the mark there. Andy has seen his chance and he is running away with the lead. Andy's already halfway through the lap. Wasp really needs to put its foot down to stay in this race. Wasp is starting to pick up pace, but it might be a little too late. And Andy's done it, leaving the Wasp for dust. So there you go, the answer to who is the fastest drone or cyclist is cyclists. We hey, have to say I'm pretty chuffed with that one. I wasn't expecting it. Wheels beat wings. <laughs>